Hi, I'm doing this video today, hopefully to help others. Um, Nala, my pug, I've just found out that she's got bladder stones and a very huge stone. I'm going to start from the beginning, the symptoms that she had, me taking her to the vets and being diagnosed, and then af after the operation. The vets are going to send the stones off to be analysed and they're going to find out what minerals have caused it to have these stones. I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, the first, first thing I noticed was bowel changes. She started to wee in the living room, which she never does. She, she's very, very extremely brilliant at being house, house trained. This particular time, what threw me was she was in season, so she was bleeding anyway. Now I found blood in a wee, but she was in season. So the only unusual thing that I spotted was that she was actually been outside for a wee like usual, and then she'd come in and she would never wee inside. But this time she was weeing in, in my living room, and there was a few wee and blood. Now I thought that was the season as well, and I thought, I don't know, but hindsight's really like good. I ended up taking her to the vet, um, and she was nearly kind of out of season, and I thought this, this is not right, this isn't. So Tuesday I phoned up the vet, it's now Thursday, so this is Tuesday. Tuesday I phoned up the vet and I said, told the vet all the symptoms she's weaning blood she's weaning the house which she never usually do does only this particular time she was walking in the living room and blob, blobs of blood were coming out of it i read on the internet that blood in the urine could be a urine infection the vet actually felt the stone it was that big he actually felt it so they said bring her, bring her in so I took her in and I got her in kind of immediately and he saw it and he took her around the back and then he come back to me and he said she's got a huge stone in her bladder that was after uh, touching her so he's, this was Tuesday so he said bring her in on Thursday well, Thursday is today where I am now um, and we will operate on it. So this morning I got up at 8.30, couldn't give her any food or drink last night and I got up at 8.30 and I took her down, straight down there and they took her straight in and they usually do say to you the anaesthetic um, is, can be dangerous for the pet which I know because I've took quite a few and but then in the same breath she said and it's worse with blood because they have feeding difficulties anyway and i was like before i could say anything else or even think then she said but she got to have this stone out this big massive stone out so basically there was no no thinking there was no choice in the matter was she just had to go in and have this stone out anyway so i was a little bit worried about that and i got home and a bit later on the vets phoned me up she has had her operation and so that's brilliant brilliant news that and she's fine so it was like i was dead like kind of really worried about that bit and when she phoned me up so early after me taking her in i really thought the worst she has nothing to worry about because I've barely been home and then she was there ringing they must have just took her in straight away immediately and operated on her anyway so she says she's fine and they're going to send the stones off and they're going to analyze the stones and they're going to see what's caused the minerals to give it these stones in a bladder it will take up to about four to six weeks to in the meantime, to give her a wet diet, um, because she has been on mainly a dry 
diet. I don't know if it's the kibble that I'm giving it or not. We, I, I've got to wait four to six weeks to find that out. But the kibble I've got to put hot water in to soften it all. She, when she comes home after the anaesthetic, I've got to cook her a chicken because she's given something bland like chicken. Um, she might not be hungry because she's been under anaesthetic and she'll be very, very extremely tired for a few days. But I'll show you gnarly when I bring her home. First off, and how she is, and she's had stitches. Then, in four to six weeks, when I get the results of what's in his stones, what's caused him, I'll do another video, follow up video, and, and then I'll go and try and explain everything that the vet has tried to explain to me about what's caused her stones. Hi, so we're here today, we're going to pick Nala up, and my daughter is so kindly brought me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, ah, so we're all here. Nan. <laughs> oh, get it now. Baby. Nana. Baby. This is the baby. Just kind of waiting for Nala. Oh. I've always got a snack. Oh, that's what I'll be wearing. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the colour of the wearing as well. Mm -hmm. Are they all the same? Yeah, they've got the short sleeves on. No, they're short sleeves. Oh, isn't it? Let me show you. You look beautiful. Yes, you do look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Your mummy dresses you nice, doesn't she? Mm. Stacey's going that out there. Lovely, mm -hmm. isn't it? Well, I was hoping you would have given me the stones so I could have a look at them. We'll save them in a pot. Did you ask? You're sending them off. Because we're going to find out what minerals are in them uh, that are causing gnarly. To, so, that, so that they know what to avoid in a diet. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's so much learning in this. Okay, so we are still sitting here waiting for now and my daughter is on her fifth packet of skips and there's still one more packet in here. Third. And that'll be gone. Don't you ever eat anything healthy? Hello fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new thing. Mm, I bought an extra tasty chicken from Morrison's the other day. Dad nice. Got at home, started picking up the chicken. <gasps> What's that thing in your old drink? It's a piece of meat. Um, Gusto. If you go for a spoon and fold it. A bit more expensive than a... <laughs> <laughs> Gusto. So you get a free spoon. It's all right. Anyone would think I don't know how to eat. I mean, she, she, has, she has got a nine month old baby there, so she just copies off him. <laughs> Your son's just the same. So it's Gusto, we get a free spoon and, and folder, yeah. And folder. Oh, I'm going to order that one then. Get my free spoon and folder. Yeah, we want it. Still waiting for Nala. Come on, Nala. Come on, Nala. <gasps> oh, no, she's here. Okay, so I'll let you know when I get in what she said. Here's Nala. So she's home. Never ever see this so quiet. She's got a little green thing on her, which she says I've got to take off by tonight because it will give her pins and needles. But that's where they put the catheter, they said. I've got her a chicken in. Tyler has decided to lie with her. He was um, crying a little bit when she first came in. So the vet said that um, this is the only collar that she could find for Nala. Uh, she says, but it's really way too big, it needs cutting. 
just in front of her nose because with this being so big she's not going to be able to eat or drink right so Nala's just moved over they're all stitches you can see them oh So she has got to go back in, what did she say she's got to go back? 10 days was it? It's going to look like that, won't it? Looks like blood, that does. So it looks like she's bleeding. Now she said with this she had to put a big massive collar on because she's got a fat neck and it was the only collar that fitted her neck and I was going to put that on but it's a good job my daughter's here. She just said that won't fit her neck neither so she has said to me I've got cut this so it's just in front of her nose so she can eat and drink and I just hope that I do it right or else I'm in trouble Yeah, she said that was where the catheter went through. And what is it, Jody? The catheter and the drip, is it? Yeah. She says I've got to pull that off tonight. When shall I pull it off then now or to later on? Right. Come on, you can have I've got more of this back wrap in my car. So if you take it off and it's not bleeding, yeah. then uh, move off. It's just because this this is tight because that wrap's got um Oh, memory so if you leave it on it causes swelling to the pore um, and it can cause it to become necrotic so if you left that on it, it it's going to kill your foot because you're cutting off the blood supply well I uh, know it'll kill the foot if you leave it on so, so should, should we get it off now then while you're here it's, uh, it's self-heating anyway so you can put it on and I've got more in the car, so it's not much. It does look a bit tight on it, doesn't it? Yeah, anything tight, you're not supposed to. Is there any blood on it? There's no sleeping now, and I've just cut a comb, as you can see. She can now drink the water. Cut quite a bit off. Cut about that much off. So. Hi, so it's been a really busy day today and Nala's eaten some chicken today and she's had some drinks, she's got to start her medication tomorrow. I've cut a cone and um, she can now get in the food so that she can drink water and eat while I'm in bed. And they're going to send off the stones and I won't find out till four to six weeks what has caused her to get the stones in the first place. And she's told me that more or less she's going to have to be on a special diet. I'll update you on what's caused the stones. I um, really do hope this has helped somebody that's, you know, maybe just started to have this problem with the cat or dog. So I'm just going to do me Hello Fresh. Clay! Clay? Hello! Okay, so I thought I'd throw a little bit of aloe fresh in there. Chicken thigh chow mein. And that's mine. I'm gonna have something to eat now. And. Play! When your ice cream's bigger than you. <laughs> Yo! Do it right, Jody, upwards. And even the cat's them. enjoying some. Where is your mouth? Well, that dinner's all eaten. Everybody's enjoyed it. Bye, baby.